In this video, we're going to go over the basics of using Pocket Labs Accelerometer. Use your included Getting Started guide to get you up and running as well. First, you're going to want to turn on your Pocket Lab sensor and get it connected to the Pocket Lab app. And the first graph that you're going to see uh, is the acceleration graph streaming automatically. First, let's go over measuring motion with the accelerometer. The Pocket Lab logo shows the axis of orientation of the accelerometer in X, Y, and Z directions. So as you shake the pocket lab along the x-axis, you'll see that in the x-graph. As you shake it along the y-axis, you'll see that change in the y-axis graph. And then the z-axis, which goes through the pocket lab, as you shake the pocket lab along the z-axis, you'll see that along the z-axis graph. Now there's something a little tricky about the acceleration graph. You'll see while the pocket lab is not moving, Two of the axes read 0g, and one, the z-axis in this case, reads positive 1g. So why is that? That's because right now we're measuring gravity along the z-axis, and the pocket lab is facing up, so we're getting a positive reading of 1g along the z-axis. If I were to flip the pocket lab over, I'm still reading gravity along the z-axis, but in this case, we're pointing the pocket lab down, so we're going to get a reading of negative 1g. The Pocket Lab's accelerometer is always reading the acceleration due to gravity. So no matter which way you turn the Pocket Lab, you're always going to get the reading of approximately 1g along the different axes. Here the y-axis is facing up, and then I flip it so the y-axis is facing down, and now I go from positive 1g on the y-axis to negative 1g on the y-axis. Now I flip it so the x-axis is facing up, and the x-axis graph reads positive 1g. I can flip it so the x-axis is facing down, and now I get a reading on the x-axis of negative 1g. So while this may be a little confusing at first, there's a lot of cool things you can do, including always knowing the orientation and angle of the pocket lab in relation to gravity. Where else is this used? To switch your screens and your tablets or phones from landscape to portrait mode. So now if I just rotate the screen back into landscape mode without changing the orientation of the accelerometer in the in the device you'll see that the screen doesn't change back I have to actually tilt the iPad back up and then it'll register that change and the screen will go back to landscape mode so that's using an accelerometer to tell um, which orientation to put your screen in so next we're going to use the accelerometer to measure projectile so uh, you want to change to the acceleration scalar graph, which is basically a combination of the acceleration on all three axes, but we've subtracted out that 1g from gravity. So now when the pocket lab is not moving, you get um, a reading of 0g's. We're going to throw the pocket lab up in the air and catch it and see what we get in our graph. So as I throw it up and catch it, and then I stop recording, you can see that this first positive spike here in acceleration, that was from when I threw the pocket lab up in the air, and then as the pocket lab was in the air, um, there was a negative net force due to gravity, um, and that caused this acceleration of negative 1g. And you can see all that right there in that nice straight line. And then you can see the positive spike in acceleration where I caught the uh, pocket lab. So those are the basics of using Pocket Lab's accelerometer. Check out the Getting Started Guide to help you further.